Hello everybody, so this is my highly requested video and I haven't done one of these since uh, the summer of 2014 so I thought I'd do another one of my house tours because it is highly requested. So here's the kitchen and it has a lot of stuff in it. This is actually one of my many rooms that are finished. So here's a whiteboard and chalkboard. The chalkboard's on the back. I got this for Christmas if you watch that video along with the chalk from my wonderful auntie and I got the this is the baking table right here it's a little bit dusty and right here is some Palmer clay candy canes that I made and then this is the American Girl sugar and spice baking set and along with the table runner that comes with the table here is my table that I made out of cardboard and it has a Santa hat on top of it which comes with the gingerbread set. On the wall we have a poster from my friend and then, oh you should go subscribe to her by the way, she's agfangirly36, I'll try to remember to link her below. and. A sweet poster from the doll poster book. Our Generation Kitchen. Just has some stuff in it. I won't open everything because I've already done a detailed tour of this room. On the fridge we have two aprons. The white ones from American Girl Craft from Michael's Craft Store. And the red ones from the Sugar and Spice Baking Set as well. In between the wall and the refrigerator we have a tray from the breakfast and bed set and then up above the refrigerator we have this shelf which is some plates and a bunch of other stuff and then over here we have American Girl star sticker okay sorry about that sorry if the quality changed any my other camera battery died and I don't have any more so here's the living room it just looks like this. So here is my American Girl TV that I made. I actually did a video on how to do this. It's just describing how to. And down here we have the inserts for the TV. So there's a bunch of them that I printed out. And if you watch that video, you know how to use them. And here's Kanani's chair, which you can no longer get. Sorry about that. And right here is a bookshelf. Let me push this back in. On top, we have the Hampton Beach, sorry, um, snow globe. And then the thing in between, or the thing next to it is actually like a world inside of a bottle. I don't remember what they're called, but you just make Palmer clay things to put inside the bottle. And then that fell, but it's an angel window cling. And then this is a poster from my friend. And then on this wall, we have another poster. It's from 11 Doll Stars from her contest I won. One of them anyway. Up here we have the bathroom. Sorry, my T5i is a little bit slower at focusing on things than my other one, so sorry about that. Right here is the American Girl Salon Center, and I just have all of my hair stuff in it. I'm not going to go through everything, so I'll do a detailed tour later. American Girl hairbrush with Caroline's hair in it. And their water spray bottle for their hair. Don't worry, there's no body spray in it anymore. Earrings. Here's the bathtub. And the floor mat. Camera is kind of being weird right now. So there's a rug that also comes with the bathtub. And there's a little bar of soap right there which it won't focus on. It's fake bubbles and a 
Doll Hospital certificate for Kanani and Elizabeth on the wall because they both went to the hospital to get new heads. Mostly because of their wig defects, so they were free. And here's a Krissa Go For It poster. And here's my sink. So the sink part is like a candle holder, I think. And the faucet and handles are made out of um, pipe cleaners and beads. And then here's their toothpaste. And then the counter is actually just like a piece of paper printed out to look like granite. Inside we have those things. I don't know what I'm going to use them for. A toothbrush for flyaway doll hair some towels, mouthwash, and then bottles of shampoo and conditioner back there. They're obviously empty. This thing I used a box and just covered it in white paper and made a little sink out of it. Over here we have some more like hair accessory stuff. So there's some Kanani stuff in there and then that one actually has scrunchies in it and the clear one I haven't put away anywhere yet so it's just staying in here for now on the ceiling we have these glow-in-the-dark stars which are freaking awesome if you put light on them they will glow in the dark and we got these a long time ago so I don't know where we got them so sorry about that I'm pretty sure you could Google that and try to find some. Glow in the dark ceiling stars, maybe. Google that. So here's the guest bedroom. And right here is the My American Girl luggage that they used to have. And just looks like that. It's like Grace's, but I like this one a lot more. And it comes with a luggage tag as well. Over there we have a little notepad on a clipboard that I got from Mommy and Me AG contest. And then right there's the locker, which I got from Christmas from my dad a couple years ago. Up here is an eraser American Girl phone. And then their iMac that I made from printing off images off of Google and just putting it together. And on the back, I just put a piece of foil that looks like a stand. I'm sorry about this camera. On the wall is an AG Squared 101 poster from winning one of her contests. And over here is the Dreamy Day Bed that I got for Christmas. Above that bed, we have Shaytard's poster, or I should say picture. The floor is actually an old towel of mine, which sounds kind of gross, but I didn't have any leftover carpet from when we got ours replaced, so maybe eventually I'll get something to put in here. By the way, the bathroom is old tiling that we had. They're just stickable squares so you just stick on here. And this floor is a giant sticker, basically adhesive sticker. It's kind of coming up right here. And you just stick it to whatever you want, basically. And we have the very top floor, which is the main bedrooms. And sorry if this is shaky. My camera is really heavy. So right here is Mr. Cooper, which is McKenna's puppy. He's so cute. And a positively adorable poster. And right here is our generation wardrobe closet from Target. Got this a couple years ago as well. Inside we have some of their clothing along with some other items. As you can see, my camera in the mirror there. It's a wonderful camera, it just doesn't work very well with videos. And some bottoms and stuff in the drawer. 
In this one we have some shoes. So right here is Christmas shoes and up here we have boots. Some ballet flats, tennis shoes, some more boots and ballet flats and pajamas. Sorry about the noise. Oh, here's the vanity shelf. Pretty cool. On this door we have a Shade Arts poster. I won't focus on it. It's from the Jarvie on Instagram, I believe. And then on the ceiling we have this school locker chandelier and it's really pretty and I love the blue. And it can turn on and off. This is motion sensor right here, if it'll work. Come on. Where are you, motion? Oh, there we go. And then the other one is just, it leaves it on and then off, which is pretty cool. I'll actually leave it on. Right here we have um, Emma and Barksy. Emma is a Sage, Sage's dog, but I just renamed her. And... I think it was of him originally, I just kind of changed the gender as well. The bunk beds my dad and I actually made, I didn't buy them, I know you get a lot of questions about that. So I just thought I'd clear that up. This blanket is actually from my friend. This is a baby blanket and then this is another blanket for the mattress. And then in here we have mini kit and a Bridget Menlar poster. And then on here we have this bead necklace and McKenna's gymnastics medal, which is really cool. Top bunk we have mini Felicity. Sorry, I won't focus on her. I'm probably going to say that the entire video. This blanket I made and then this is also old bed sheets of mine. That I never used. Top bunk of this bed is a Selena Gomez poster and a mini Julie doll. And then way over there is a pillow that my friend made back in eighth grade. Blanket I also made. And then these are old bed sheets of mine as well. On the ceiling we have these stars which are made out of paper. You could Google, or not Google, YouTube, how to make 3D paper stars, and they'll give you a how to video. On the wall, we have another Shea Tarts picture from Shea's Instagram, I believe, Shea Carl. Love, Peace, and Happiness poster. And on the nightstand, we have the lamp. which turns on like that and fake glass of water lotion Kleenex box and inside we have sunglasses and then this box is was Christmas earrings that American Girl sold back in 2010 and here is their puppy brush brush their puppies with right here is their jewelry box I just keep their jewelry inside this Isabel coral sweater box because I don't have a real jewelry box for them so I just keep it in there. This rug is from the side table set which I believe is retired now unfortunately as well as the bed. There's Kanani's bag from her accessories. The carpet is from old carpeting that we had left over from when we replaced our carpet. And on this bed, this bottom part of this bed, we have Mini Rebecca, which it won't focus on. I'm so sorry about this camera. It does not like these videos. Debbie Ryan poster and a seal poster from Kanani's room video, if you watch that. Sorry, my phone's ringing. On hanging on this bed, we have a bunch of bags. So we have Julie's bag from her old accessories. Isabel's purse. This is from, I believe, um, the two-in-one ballerina set they had a couple years ago. 
I remember that being a purchase with purchase. And then this bag I just made out of um, old jean pockets. And Lainey's Garten Outfit hat. Along with another pair of sunglasses and this beach bag from 2012. Underneath there are some things. If you go watch my detailed tour of this room, you'll see what else is under here besides this mirror book air, which I don't think was in that video. And you can also see what's underneath this bed. So, I believe that is it. Sorry if I forgot anything. But up at the top, we have this our generation car, the Jeep, and then Caroline's accessories box has their holiday dresses in it, and then the Dreamy Nightstand box has all their open toed shoes in it, which is like half full, so there's a lot in there. And then the thing in the bag is Kanani's shoe by stand, so I don't want it to get dusty, which is why it's in the bag. So here's an overview of my dollhouse. Again, sorry if I missed anything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.